cooking up something special for you. Next week, Ina Garten answers all your Turkey Day questions, plus five days of holiday shopping. And Monday, the Thanksgiving Day Parade takes over the plaza live, only on today. We have no capacity and we're not supposed to take any more transfers. Two of my best uh, nurses call in sick, uh, and we are strained for staff. So nobody stayed with her? Uh, are you with us? I need some help in here. Transplant, tonight on NBC. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basement company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. You can stretch your family food budget. Call the Family Food Helpline. Live on NBC 12, this is News Watch 12 at 6. Good evening, I'm Jessica Jukic. And I'm Dan Hagen. Marshfield Clinic says they plan to cut employee pay and benefits as soon as next Sunday. The health system sent a company letter Wednesday announcing the cuts. According to Marshfield Clinic interim CEO Dr. Brian Horneman, the economy has presented challenges that required the cuts, referring to the plan as a shared sacrifice from leadership to line staff. The first pay cuts will affect top-level management with cuts between 10 to 15 percent of their salary. Similar cuts will start on Sunday, November 26th for salaried, postpaid and hourly positions. The system will also suspend their 401k match program on January 1st. The letter stated that these changes are temporary and that there will be a more comprehensive financial improvement plan released sometime in the future. A Phillips High School teacher has been arrested for drug possession while on the school's campus. Yesterday, special education teacher Eric Johnson was arrested by Phillips Police Department for possession of meth, marijuana, and drug paraphernalia. According to a letter from the school superintendent, no students are believed to have been involved in the criminal activities. Counselors are available for any students in need of support after the arrest. Anyone with information on the case should contact the Phillips, Phillips Police Department. Conrad, it was one of the most windy days I've ever seen out there. Yeah, definitely one of the windier days, but warm too, right? Yep. Pretty good. How long will this warm weather last? Not too long, Jessica. Get ready. Colder temperatures are back, and that arrives tonight into tomorrow. But take a look at these high temperatures. Earlier today, you guessed at record highs here in town, 63 degrees. Our previous record high was around 62 degrees, so we made it, and we did it. Lots of high temperatures in the 60s all over the state. Of course, warm air here for now, but look at this cold front just around their corner. It's pretty much in the Minneapolis area. So into the Mankato area as well, but it will continue to move east, and we're going to get in on that cold temperatures beginning tomorrow. Our average high is around 39, so we're going to be near average for tomorrow, then a little bit warmer by the weekend, and right back down with well below average temperatures by next week. Overall, though, we are getting a little bit of clouds right now, but overnight tonight, we will continue to see some decrease in clouds, possibly a sprinkle or two the next several hours, and then we really clear up overnight with temperatures cooling off and they will be hovering slightly above average hovering in those mid to upper 20s dan a man was arrested today after a search to find a missing girl in forest county 14 year old precious Taverney was reported missing last night according to a facebook post from the child's mother precious left their family home in leona last night sometime between 10 p.m and midnight the child was then picked up and taken out of the area by 23-year-old Justin Higgins. Higgins was arrested without incident around 2.30 p.m. today, and DeVerney was located safely. There is no word yet on what charges Higgins may be facing. Democratic Governor Tony Evers and Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss are both arguing against the Supreme Court taking the school voucher lawsuit. Boston Department of Administration Secretary Kathy Blumenfield was appointed by Governor Evers 
and told the court in a separate filing this week that the case should start at the circuit court level. The third defendant, the Department of Public Instruction secretary, took no position. Democratic opponents of the voucher program took a different position from the governor and asked the Supreme Court to take the case. Governor Evers has been a longtime critic of the program, but over the summer agreed to increase spending on the program for education funding. Vilas County Sheriff's deputies responded to a call late yesterday of an SUV crashing into a tree just outside of Eagle River. Just after 8 p.m., dispatch received a call for a 2004 GMC Yukon hitting a tree on Sunstein Road in the township of Lincoln. An investigation showed that the 34-year-old Eagle River man was traveling at a high speed when he lost control of his vehicle. The driver was pronounced dead on the scene. His name is being withheld at this time pending notification to the family. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled Thursday it will not allow Florida to enforce a new law limiting drag shows in the state. It's a blow to a key initiative championed by Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. Florida had asked the high court to narrow a lower court order that had stopped the law from being enforced statewide. The court declined. Conservative Justices Clarence Thomas, Samuel Alito, and Neil Gorsuch have said they would let, have let the law take effect. Justices citing the court's decision noted complex First Amendment issues in the case. Florida's Attorney General argued the law known as Protection of Children Act was designed to protect kids from exposure to sexually explicit live performances. According to the Red Cross, an estimated 6.8 million people nationwide donate blood. A local school organization spent Thursday helping the Red Cross add to those numbers. The Family, Career and Community Leaders of America, or SCCLA, is a student organization which organized Thursday's blood drive at Tomahawk High School. They had 45 people signed up, from students to staff to community members. We think it's a really cool way to represent FCCLA through this blood drive because obviously it gives back so much. Like one person donating their blood can save up to three lives. So we just think it's a really great thing to host. Students had to reach out to area businesses for donations and partnerships. They also had to advertise on the school announcements and do a presentation to get other students involved. This is my first time actually getting blood taken out of my body for other people. Um, I did this so I can give back to my community and help other people in need. The blood drive was the second hosted by Tomahawk's FCCLA club. Students wanted to thank all the local businesses that made the event possible. The Great American Smokeout is an annual nationwide campaign sponsored by the American Cancer Society on the third Thursday in November. It encourages people to begin the path to a tobacco and smoke-free life. Our own Jake Force spoke with an expert today about the importance of this year's smokeout. Jake? That's right, Dan and Jessica. You know, increased access to nicotine among teenagers has been a pressing issue for several years now. The company Juul has faced immense pressure from the federal government for marketing their products to teens, but it hasn't been very effective. Today, in honor of the Great American Smokeout, members of the Wisconsin Department of Health Services are pushing for change. It's particularly alarming because it, it did go down last year, and so it bumped up almost 2% this year. And for us, that's just uh, um, headed in the wrong direction. On the third Thursday of every November, the American Cancer Society celebrates the Great American Smokeout, a campaign encouraging nicotine users to quit. Gina Larson, who works in the Tobacco Prevention and Control Program for the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, is using the smokeout to highlight the increase of nicotine vape sales to kids and teenagers throughout the state over the last year, noting the sales tactics and lack of regulations surrounding disposable nicotine vape devices. This is not your grandpa's or your mom's or dad's. Um, you know, combustible cigarettes. So the level of nicotine is so much higher and therefore so much more addictive. Although the age to buy nicotine is 21 under federal law, Wisconsin's age limit for the same products is only 18. Larson says this limits the power of state law enforcement who are unable to enforce the federal law that requires 21 years of age for purchase. So if we can bring these two laws, the federal and the state law together congruently, we will open up, you know, a, a, a number of enforcement and education 
uh, tools that are at the ready. Larson says another issue with the age 18 requirement is that many 18 year olds are still in close contact with their underage peers. If you're getting access to tobacco, to tobacco and nicotine at age 18, that pushes that access younger and younger because you're still dealing with your friends or your family or your cousins um, who might want to get some of those products from you. And Larson also mentioned Wisconsin Wins, a program run by the DHS that highlights store clerks and businesses who refuse to sell nicotine products to anyone under 21, while also educating those who still do. Thank you, Jake. A suspect running from police was caught in quite the unlikely place. Coming up after the break, we'll tell you how he got himself into a sticky situation. That's after Weather with Conrad right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Rhinelander Pub is open for lunch. Our full menu featuring our all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar is now available for lunch. Ideal for business lunches or get-togethers with family or friends. We open daily at 11 a.m. We welcome reservations. Ashley's Black Friday savings are here. Beat the rush on furniture and mattress doorbusters starting at just $199.99. Quantities are limited, so hurry in while supplies last. The best Black Friday deals are happening now, only at Ashley. Carpet City. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever and receive free carpet installation or save $300, $600, or even $1,000 on all hard surface flooring. That's right, free carpet installation or extra savings up to $1,000 on hard surface flooring. If you need flooring, now is the time to buy. Only at Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever. Our prices will blow. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA. Like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light. That makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawontwait.com. The Rhinelander Pub is now open Monday to Saturday. Come enjoy our newly expanded lunch and dinner menu featuring longtime pub favorites and new entree additions. You will love our all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar and Friday seafood buffet. And welcome back, guys. Wow, temperatures back in the 60s earlier today. We got a new record high temperature for today here in town. 63 degrees, 2023. That's going down in the record books. Now we're slowly cooling down, but get ready. Oh, boy, we got this cold front right here. That's going to continue to cross and make its way across the state, going from west to east. So get ready. By tomorrow, whole different ball game. High temperatures will only be hovering at around 30. 38 degrees and 40s making a comeback Saturday, Sunday, and then still lingering into Monday. And then look what happens. We really cool off back into the 20s as high temperatures. Yes, you heard that right. 20s as high temperatures will be back right in time for Thanksgiving. For now, though, not much going on. We saw a mixture of some clouds and sun, mainly staying cloudy for today. Same story at the moment. We do have some mostly cloudy skies. A couple of sprinkles are possible the next couple of hours mainly staying dry and then we have some decrease in clouds overnight tonight and of course with that cold front coming in more chances of snow this graphic does show more chances of snow monday night through tuesday into tuesday night and then still lingering in the area wednesday into those overnight hours of course that wind shifting low pressure system moving out of the area that will cause some lake effect snow on the back end still several days away but we'll keep an eye on this does look like tuesday morning is 
starts to arrive and then throughout the day on Tuesday continues to develop, mainly staying all snow in our area, especially with cooler temperatures. It does look like a promising system on the way, still very far away, but we will keep an eye on this. Make sure your plows are ready and shovels just in case this does continue to develop into a bigger low pressure system kind of is looking like that for now but still several days away now wind gusts today a whole different story it was very very windy not only breezy it was really windy outside if you're driving a semi or a taller car you definitely feel it i was in my smaller car and i even felt that wind tossing me around left and right on the highway right now sustained winds 21 miles per hour here in town 24 in Antigo, 21 in mozanie as well same story into the wapaka area and wind gusts are of course much much higher than that pretty much double that so that's usually the wind gust on average it's double the sustained wind and our wind gusts for now we're coming in at 38 miles an hour in town 40 in phillips area but i do feel like they will be a little bit higher especially in the next couple of hours then we start to kind of lighten up by tomorrow into tomorrow evening we do see some lighter winds it's still going to be a bit breezy throughout the day on friday but much much lighter winds Still, some wind advisories in the area. The counties just to the west, their advisories have been discontinued, and ours looks like it will very, very soon, within the next hour and a half to two hours. So things will start to improve into those overnight hours. Of course, a couple of sprinkles possible, and then we're going to see decrease in clouds as that cold front comes in. Temperatures are going to be hovering at around 27 degrees. It will continue to stay windy overnight. Now for tomorrow, a little bit better. Still breezy, mostly sunny skies and temperatures much much cooler only at around 38 degrees our seven day outlook brought to you by northwoods furniture and mattress does show a little bit of snow back in the forecast tuesday into wednesday right in time for thanksgiving so it does look like it might be a white thanksgiving and of course a very very cold one jessica Thank you, Conrad. Today's high winds are causing a number of power outages across northern Wisconsin. WPS estimates that somewhere around 700 customers are currently without power. The majority of those outages are in Vilas County, while others being reported in Oneida, Lincoln, and Forest Counties. There's currently no estimate as to when all of the outages will be resolved. Police in Glendale, Wisconsin, caught a suspect in an unlikely hiding place Wednesday, trapped inside a porta potty at a local golf course. Emily Pofall talked to some golfers who witnessed the whole ordeal. I just take it off before I could get out of court on Richter. Southbound on court, high rate of speed. 11.30 Wednesday morning, a speeding and swerving SUV slams into cars on Port Washington Road. The driver blows through traffic barrels before hitting the I-43 guardrail. Four people jump out. Two of them sprint across the freeway. We were uh, on the third hole and um, we heard a crash. Alyssa Boland and her friends were golfing at Lincoln Park when they say they saw the pair making a run for it. There's a smaller child that is heading towards the porta potty and I'm thinking there's no way he's going to go in there. But Boland says he did. So Boland's friend Adam did something about it. Adam had gone over and tried to see if he was still in there and then decided to push the porta potty over, trapping him inside. Hey, I got one hiding in the porta potty. Adam said that once he pushed it over, it was really smelly and he could hear the sloshing. So I can just imagine the stench. <laughs> A nice, relaxing, beautiful day on the golf course. Bolin started recording as police closed in, surrounding the porta potty with guns drawn. You can see the person inside climb out and surrender. Other golfers stunned at what they were seeing. There was two people who decided to wait for an hour instead of going off at their tee time just because they were fearful. Other golfers were worried they wouldn't get their tee time in and were hurried to get going. A swift arrest for Glendale police officers, but likely a smelly ride in the squad car. It was a fantastic opportunity to be in the right place at the right time even though it was a really crappy situation for the kid. The best doorbuster deals of the year are available now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Four-piece laundry packages starting at just $1.99 or just $36 a month. This gas range at just $8 a month at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. 
Don't miss out. Upgrade your home with new flooring. We carry durable laminate flooring, easy-to-install sheet vinyl, and waterproof vinyl plank. Tarquette Harbor Village Sheet Vinyl is just 84 cents a square foot after rebate. Add style and luxury to your bathroom with Max. The Sirene Shower is the perfect stylish solution for any bathroom. Get it for $596.29 after 11% rebate. Save big money at the Gather the family and join in on Perkins Holiday Festivities. Here, everyone can savor our juicy oven-roasted butterball turkey, enjoy the perfect slice of pie, and take home your favorite pie from Perkins Holiday Bake Shop. Salon Pass, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. It's It's that time of year again, America. So let's light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology, space, and flexibility for any season. Get special offers on our adventure-ready SUVs or on our great selection of Ford trucks. And make the holidays bright with Ford. Choose FlexBuy on Escape, Explorer, or Bronco with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,000 FlexBuy and 500 low APR cash. The best doorbuster deals of the year are available now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Four-piece laundry packages starting at just $1.99 or just $36 a month. This gas range at just $8 a month at Furniture and Appliance Mart. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. In his 49th year as head coach for the Edgar Wildcats, Jerry Sins has set a record for most state title appearances with 14. And today he was able to capture his eighth state title in the school's history. He wasn't the only one to set a record at the title game. Running back Carter Butt tied the record for most rushing touchdowns in a state championship game with five. And that offensive explosion was good enough to give Edgar the 36-6 win to give them the Division Seven state title. Even with the record-breaking performance, Butt was just glad to be able to hold the gold ball above his head. It's definitely a great feeling just winning state in general, and um, we kind of came with an edge against these guys because they beat us twice in the past, and we thought we did a great job preparing all week, and, you know, guys stepped up. They made plays, and, you know, it, all the credit goes to just my coaches, my teammates, and I couldn't do it without any of them. After winning his eighth state title, Sins is used to holding up these gold balls. However, he's still not able, he's still glad to be able to win one for the team and fans. Well, you know, the titles themselves don't really mean a whole lot to me, to tell you the truth. They, they really don't. I mean, I, I know the fans love that, and the, the media does. Um, I, I just enjoy every day of practice going on out. After year 49, Coach Sin says he hasn't decided yet if he's going to call it a career or not. Congrats to Edgar on a great season. Another Central Wisconsin team also won a state title. The Stratford Tigers won a late game thriller versus the Darlington Redbirds 10-7. The game was tied 7-7 in the final seconds, but Stratford managed to hit a 32-yard field goal as time expired to lift the trophy. This is Stratford's second straight D6 football title. The Tigers are now tied for the most state titles in WIAA history. Congrats to them. We'll be right back. Time to make the holidays picture perfect with a new Toyota. We're going to need a bigger tree. Get 3.99% APR plus $1,000 cash back on Tacoma when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. It's Renewal by Anderson's Countdown to Black Friday sale. Stay tuned to learn more. We all have that list of home improvement projects we need to do. And if replacing your home's windows and doors is on that list, you'll want to know that it's going to be affordable. I'm from Renewal by Anderson. And we've helped thousands of customers who are on a budget 
get our windows and doors for their home. How do we do it? Well, here's something you don't expect to hear from a window company. You don't have to upgrade all your windows and doors at the same time. We're really good at identifying the bad windows and those you can wait on replacing. And here's something we offer that you don't find with a lot of window companies or contractors, great financing options. With Renewal by Anderson, you can have monthly payments that'll probably be lower than your cable bill. With another program, you can get windows and doors now and not pay anything for an entire year. It's almost like free money. No wonder half of our customers finance. Before we talk about the warranty, think about other things you've bought. Did it sometimes feel like you had to buy the expensive extended warranty to get the good coverage? That's never the case with us. Our windows are so durable and our installers are so talented. Unlike some other companies, our warranties cover the windows, patio doors, and the installation. It's really impressive that they sell the product, they manufacture the product, they install the product, because then you're dealing with one company and you're dealing with one company that has a long standing and solid reputation. Let Renewal by Anderson help put great windows and doors in your budget this year. It's Renewal by Anderson's Countdown to Black Friday sale. Before November 30th, get 20% off your entire project. Save an extra $100 on every window and make no payments and pay no interest for one year. Plus, qualifying purchases are eligible for a week-long vacation. Our Countdown to Black Friday window and patio door sale ends November 30th. Call 715-318-3535. That's 715-318-3535. Toyotathon is on. Time to make the holidays picture perfect with a new Toyota. We're going to need a bigger tree. Get 3.99% APR plus $1,000 cash back on Tacoma when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. Bruce Orthodontics, changing lives one smile at a time. Rhinelander, Manaqua, Eagle River, Phillips, and the greater Northwoods area. Treating patients of all ages. All right, guys. Wow, nice and pleasant temperatures in the 60s all over the state. Even some 70s were squeezing out there. Eau Claire area down uh, just south of the Green Bay area. 70s were in the region. Of course, it was very windy as well. We're looking at wind gusts anywhere in the 30s and 40s all over the state. Now, get ready. Cold front coming through. Colder temperatures beginning just tomorrow. I can't wait for these 60s to I come know. back in May. In May? Oh, Probably so we'll April. We'll have to wait a while. April. Okay. April. <laughs> Thank you, Conrad. We'll see you back here at 10. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Rhinelander Cafe and Pub. As we head into Thanksgiving, our craving for everything pumpkin seems to be going strong. As a matter of fact, for those of us who can never seem to get enough pumpkin, we can't